curious for both of you um when you day one like uh brett you you um you're a writer on the show as well yeah um so this might be a little bit different for you but on day one what's the first thing you thought of about the concept you know for you it'd be character wise and writing wise and phil for you just character when you read it what's the first thing went through your brain character wise Uh, well, I'll start then. Uh, I, <laughs> um, so, uh, really, for me, ca character-wise, um, I think that I, I think I did the same as I think other people do when they first saw Jamie. Was that he's? Uh, uh, I, I don't know how how sort of fruity the language can be, but he's not. You know, he's a, he's a knob. He's a sort of. Uh, um, an arrogant sort of aggressively arrogant guy who he's a bit of a diva he is a, this one of these young men who on the surface uh he is rich and sort of knows that he has some sort of uh like <clears throat> social value in his fame and underneath the surface he is rich and knows that he has social value in his fame and that was it really uh and i think that after speaking to Jason and speaking to Brett actually on the first day um, and Brendan as well, it was it was like just, you know, because I'd only had uh, the, the, the I think at that point I would only had the first couple of episodes and understanding the story that J where Jamie had been and where he was going. Uh, I think that more and more I came to realise that there was actually, you know, a real person in there and through the brilliance of all of the writers, they, they really found a sort of very three dimensional person in there. Um, and so in terms of the character, you, I think that for my process was probably similar, hopefully to, you know, a lot of people who watched it, you, I, you know, more became apparent about the guy as you went on. Uh, and also, you know, I guess coming to it as well, as I did, um, it's a really funny script and it's, but it's also, you know, it's got a very heavy American influence. And I was like, I know it's funny when you guys do it. And when you, but I just don't know how to make that funny because it's a very different thing. I'm not sure how, and you know, it was, it, you know, I guess just sitting down and, you know, Jason really uh, just sits with anyone who's got a big scene coming up, sits with him and just, gives him all his time and it was through that that I sort of got through that process long-winded way of saying he's deep I know yeah your turn Brett that's a really good answer well done um can I just check with you I don't want to I don't want to ruin this but my internet keeps freezing is it affecting you guys or is it all it right it is and it isn't I mean I see you going in and out every once in a while but uh it's okay, okay if you leave us for a little bit. It's uh, it's the oh, thought that counts. This, if you if it bre if it breaks up, Brett, I'll just speak for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Can we not uh, do that? Can we make sure that that's, that doesn't? <laughs> not. I, I think Phil should just practice right um, now. Just, it's just like, what would Brett say? You go for it. You can answer that question. You you can answer the first question. Go on. <laughs> go on a fucking egg. <laughs> we'll call you on your bluff. I want to hear it. <laughs> uh no it's all right you go on brett you, you've got strong internet and you've got a strong soul i believe in you there's only one thing stronger than your uh, internet what connection did I think is, day is the bond between you two <laughs> the, uh, the, what did, well yeah you're right it's slightly different for me because i i had been in the right of this oh we lost you character at the beginning uh, but i do think there was a difference in day one in terms of have you lost me? A little bit, yeah. A little bit. Okay, now. Okay, now. Okay, now. Glad I'm not the only one who has technical technical problems before. Oh this. man, listen, this is to be fair, and I'll say this: Brett has, up to this moment, had been been a a a, a, a grade student with his Wi-Fi. <laughs> um, I can imagine. But, uh, I mean, he's got I. I just listened to his his podcast before this, uh, and I was just like, first of all, oh, he he came back. He's animated. 
No, he's he's frozen here, but he just he wanted me to admit him. Oh, oh, he's he's back in. Oh, is maybe he's on his phone. Double gold sting. This is interesting. Oh, what? There's two of us now. What? What's happening? Double bubble. Whoa! <laughs> this, this is this Love is the perfect that. time to mention that I was just talking about your podcast, and yeah. I just listened to the Russell T Davies episode because he's one of my favorite writers, he's and I was just friend. like. Yeah, I was like, oh my god. And so we were just talking about your internet connection. It has to be good because I was like, if it wasn't good for Russell T. Davies, I mean, I get it. It's not good for me. <laughs> I mean, I'm literally fucking sat next to the fucking modem. You fuck it. I mean, don't get me started on this fucking internet that I pay. Fucking, the best internet in Britain is a fucking prick. Uh, my apology. Right. Yeah, no worries. But if I'm so the the character of day one, so I did know a lot about the character and I thought a lot about it, etc. But it was different because on day one you realize, oh, I'm doing this in front of other people. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah. in, in the in your audition, you're doing it on your own, in your in your in your head, you have it in your own, and suddenly there's this fucking room full of footballers and 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 men everywhere, and suddenly you've got to be the the captain and it's all well and good in your head, but suddenly you have to uh embody it in and 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 affect the people around you so there was definitely uh it was quite a kind of um look to, I, like i always think of roy he's like a fist he's like a walking fist like he's fucking he's ready for a fight at any set he he's expecting to headbutt anyone like he's like in a you know he's walking down a corridor any like a zombie film for him. everyone's a zombie that he's got a fucking so there, I think that's it. There's a, there's a just a clenched fist of rage about him at the beginning, and also sadness. Like he's he's fucking depressed at the beginning of the season. So, so it's all just inside. That makes sense. Is that an answer? Yeah, that makes sense. To me. Yeah, it totally makes sense to me. I mean, I feel that way all the time. The only reason I'm yeah. angry is because I'm depressed. It's fine. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. When you guys find the characters, like between the two personalities like when you get to set how does playing off each other inform your your performances <laughs> so I mean, we, we, we can't do we can't do scenes together to be honest <laughs> like it's I, I mean he makes me fucking love, we like <laughs> it's bad like any scene where where our faces are close to each other those were the longest scenes to shoot yeah, I, I worried, I, I actually worried if if I would be in far fewer scenes with Brett or with anybody next in, in season two, because they were like, it's just a waste of money having Phil and Brett yeah. in a scene together. Um, yeah, yeah, but yeah, yeah it, it's, it's funny because it really does feel like, I mean, look, from, from a sort of personal and probably selfish perspective, it's the most fun, it's the most fun to be like, always on the edge and I think that it keeps it like you sort of almost in a sort of sadistic way trying to make trying to do something or you're thinking things that you think the other person would find funny and and I think that it just adds that extra little bit hopefully who know you know for people watching it may, I don't who cares because I'm having fun you know uh it's it's just great because it feels like you think oh, I might try I might try that in this one because it's just you know there's something there's a little bit of like I'm going to say it. There's, there's electricity between the two of us. Told you. The only thing stronger than the bond of internet Wi-Fi is the two of you. <laughs> so, uh, Brett, same question for you. <laughs> Unless you don't want to answer it, which is totally fine. Same question. That, well, I, I have yeah. the same answer. I mean, oh, fair enough. I do think, I think, it, I think, um, it definitely, we did more stuff with Roy and Jamie once the two of us. You know, it's a it's a it's a romantic comedy, isn't it? Between these two, they're the two two opposites, but really they get each other and <laughs> they love each other because they hate each other. Is there any moment on set that you guys found like that you found was the most fun moment you got chance to play? Like where you were like, oh my God, like someone listened to my idea and it played on screen really well. Or it's just a moment where you're in the character and you're like, this is the most fun I've had. Right. You, you had a whole episode. It must have built episode four. Four was four was your episode in season one. Is that right? What do you mean? Like oh, no. 
that was your episode, right? That must oh, have felt five, like, episode five. Sorry, five, five, five. The whole episode must have felt like. I mean, I've had so many moments like that, but in I mean, I'd say most of the moments we've done. So there are things we've done in season two that are like, obviously, I can't say that that I, I, I yeah. texted Jason just like, this is fucking unbelievable that we did like so many times. And I, I think the first day we walked out, the sit where we first walked out onto the pitch, uh, with with to play Crystal Palace uh, in episode two. And like we walked out as a team and we had a mascot and we had a thing like and there was a crowd like that was fucking amazing. But I also have a soft spot for because it was like we did it in one take and it was just a sort of throwaway thing that I really loved was uh, Roy arriving at the gala and going down the press and just going, fuck off, fuck you. No, no. Like, I love that. That was a great day. <laughs> yeah. Well, how about you? I think that that gala episode felt really special. It was, it was really fun. I think because we were all there, uh, it's in this really amazing um, place called the Rivoli Ballroom. And you'll see it now. Whenever you watch anything else, you'll be like, that's the place from Ted. I, I shot something there before. And it's, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a very sort of famous shooting location in London. Uh, and all of everyone was there. You know, most of the cast was, was there throughout the week um that that felt like you know very special and i think that was the first time that i had that i had watched jason sort of just just do his thing like he had just sort of been wound up and then let loose just to sort of play around and i was like oh this is this is you know this is really funny the show is going to be really funny because you don't like you know it's easy enough when you're in a scene you're like i think this is good what we're doing i think and then you know but then when you when i saw that i was like oh right well of course he knows exactly he's he's brilliant this is he knows this thing like in his bones but there was that and i think for me that the uh the ode to alan iverson practice thing was a really special uh uh was was really was really cool to sort of just be a part of um because again it was the sort of thing where you know i think jason had a, I didn't actually know about the Alan Iverson practice thing. It's quite a famous um, interview. Uh, and it just really felt, afterwards it felt like, oh, wow, okay. That felt like it was something, you know, you sometimes have those scenes where you're like, there was something bubbling there. As a writer on the show, like, how are you seeing your character? Like, did you have the whole season written out while you were doing it? Or was it one of those things where like you're writing episodes as you go? Yeah, uh, we had it all planned out. We had, we had it. Uh, I think we had it. We basically, whatever we had, we had a plan. The the story didn't change, I don't think. Mm -hmm. um, the story was pretty set. But what did change, I mean, I've talked about this before, but it, it it's that thing of once we knew the actors and once everyone started owning their character, we started rewriting to the actor, you know, and, it, and the characters mm -hmm. kind of did evolve. Particularly, I mean, Juno is the... the biggest example of the way Keely was written ended up quite different from how she is now because Juno was so funny in quite a specific way and so different from how I think we planned Keely that it was like oh we should be let's let's make her this like Juno's doing all this so naturally so wonderfully let's give more of more of this to it and so I think her character is the one that probably changed the most from what was in the script on the pilot mm -hmm. and kept rewriting but it was true for all of us you know all the characters got rewritten to exploit the actors yeah so, is there any specific instance that you saw a dramatic change due to the actor once we had i mean she's told this story but but hannah in the audition stage it was revealed to jason that she could sing and so that's why she fucking sings <laughs> in the show. Like, that's a pretty big, you know, I don't think that was originally going to be her singing, but it was like, we got Hannah Wedding. She's going to fucking sing. Yeah, it was a great scene, too. I just, yeah. I, it's, I'm surprised because it's like that whole episode's about, you know, what she's been repressing. Yeah, yeah. You know, I can't remember what the original plan was, but, but we hadn't, anyway, we, it evolved from that for sure. Is there anything that you've noticed the difference when you, had Phil cast. 
Are there any changes? Uh, <laughs> I think we definitely gave him more jokes. Uh, I don't know how much we changed because he 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 really was it. <laughs> he, he really was that much of a dickhead at the beginning. I, I... <laughs> is there anything that you both as actors writers artists in general learned about yourselves through the show uh i i learned i'll give you the the earnest answer uh i think i learned that that leadership can be wholehearted and uh and sort of vulnerable and uh it's not shouting and telling people what to do it's being open to others' ideas and on a, you know, on a scale, you know, obviously those are nice sentiments, but you know, it's, it's a, it's a, it's an important show for these people. And, and it's, it's a big show and having the, having the bravery to listen to other people's ideas, you know, who may not have the experience, but you know, they're, they're there for a reason. They've got people, they've got people on the show for a reason and trusting in that. Uh, I think in a, in a creative sense uh, and an environment, I think that I really learned from watching people like Brett and people like Jason and Bill Lawrence and Brendan and Joe Kelly. Uh, I think I really learned that. Brett? Uh, I've learned that I'm a fucking spoiled little shit because this show is so good to work on that I worry I won't be able to be on a different thing <laughs> because if it's not as good as this, I'll be like, oh, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> like, I, I've, I've learned it's, it's sort of, we've, you know, look, the, the entire cast, the entire crew, everyone, it's, a, it's boring to say, but there's so much love for each other and for the show and so much, everyone is working really, really hard and, putting all of their best selves into it. And I've learned a lot about acting and all sorts from working with these amazing people. And, and yeah, and it's that whole thing of going, yeah, I don't know if I could do this with, with people that wish, I, I don't want to do something. I don't want to ever do anything that's less good than this, but I think that may be a real, I'm depressed already about <laughs> what's next. Uh, is that an answer? Yes. <laughs> it is an answer. <laughs> well, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate your time. Uh, I cannot wait for season two, guys. Like, I am so excited. Thank you so much for all the work you guys have done, and I'm so excited to see what happens in season three as well. Hopefully, we'll get a chance to talk then, too. Hey, yeah, thank man. you for your excellent camera work. Thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks, man. Great to speak to you. Cheers. Have a good one. Bye.